Hello, we are Team Aid from Sage Own University, participating in the Simulink Student Challenge with the topic, Reinforcement Learning Based Control for Autonomous Mobile Robots. The presentation will proceed in the following order Introduction, Method, Implementation, and Conclusion. Our team is an academic club primarily focused on researching and developing autonomous, driving, technologies, using, MATLAB, and Simulink. We decided to participate in this competition to propose a new approach using reinforcement learning, moving beyond the traditional methods based on sensor processing. According to a presentation by Business Research Insights, the autonomous mobile robot market is expected to reach $15.8 billion by 2032. In line with this trend, we chose this topic to build foundational skills in AMR control using artificial intelligence as undergraduate students. Among the three main approaches in machine learning, we decided to utilize reinforcement learning. Through the design of a reward function based on trial and error, Team Aid aims to develop a control model that is cost efficient by reducing sensor dependency and robust to various environmental conditions. Developing driving algorithms by directly processing sensor data involves high development complexity, resulting in low efficiency and a high dependency on sensor performance. In contrast, the reinforcement learning approach primarily focuses on designing the environment and reward function for training the agent. This approach offers higher real-time processing, efficiency, and comparatively lower dependency on sensor performance. Additionally, the estimated sensor costs for commercial AMRs are typically in the range of several thousand dollars. To address this, our team envisioned an AMR that significantly reduces sensor costs by utilizing only radar and ultrasonic sensors. The reinforcement learning logic we designed operates as follows. Learning occurs through the interaction between a DDPG agent, consisting of an actor and a critic, and an environment composed of vehicle, dynamics, and simulation. The actor delivers actions to the environment, and the observations, and rewards generated from the AMR's behavior in the environment are fed back into the agent. The actor commands the actions for the agent to perform while the critic provides feedback to the actor regarding those actions. Each network updates its parameters at every step, according to the following equations. The AMR's pose vector is structured as a 6 by 1 vector, as shown below, and is estimated at discrete time intervals. Selecting an appropriate simulation environment is essential for effective reinforcement learning. Our team utilized the driving scenario designer app provided by the automated driving toolbox. Our team implemented most of the models in Simulink, faithfully replicating the learning logic we presented earlier. This is the training environment model implemented using the driving scenario designer ad. We configured it conveniently through the GUI, equipping the AMR with one radar and six ultrasonic sensors. The following is the environment subsystem that receives speed and steering commands from the agent. In the vehicle dynamics subsystem of the environment, the bicycle dynamics model block calculates the AMRs pose at discrete intervals. The pose of the ego actor from the vehicle dynamics model is converted into a bus signal and transmitted to the driving scenario designer ad. The blue and red subsystems perform preprocessing by scaling the observation values between 0 and 1. The observed states vector is structured as a 38 by 1 vector with its components shown on the left. The observations include the position and distance of objects obtained from the ultrasonic and radar sensors, the error relative to the target point, the current speed, and pose data. To enable the agent to accurately assess the behavior of dynamic objects, we incorporated data from the previous step using a unit delay block. The reward function subsystem is as follows. First, we constructed the is done logic, which consists of the is fail and is success subsystems. As shown in the diagram on the right, the system is set to indicate success when the is goal distance condition is satisfied based on the distance from the target point. The failure conditions are determined based on time and the distance to objects detected by the radar and ultrasonic sensors, as shown in the diagram on the right. This means that if either the failure or success condition is met, the is done value is set to 1. The reward function, utilizing the observation vector and time information, was completed. Finally, as shown in the diagram on the right, the final reward function was derived by reflecting the angle of objects relative to the AMR's center line. The green section shows the implementation of the final reward function in Simulink. 
This is the configuration of the actor and critic networks for the DDPG agent, created using the Deep Network Designer ad. This setup aligns with the reinforcement learning logic we outlined earlier. Observation, action, and environment options are configured using MATLAB. Finally, setting the options through the reinforcement learning designer ad completes all the necessary preparations. The following shows the results of training the agent. The video on the left shows the driving performance of the first agent, while the one on the right shows the second agent. Our team engaged in the following discussions. As shown, the speed issue observed in the first agent was resolved in the second agent. The driving trajectories of the two agents are depicted in the graph on the right. In this way, the model can be deployed, retrained, and converted into code, enabling its application to real-world systems. Our team utilized various toolboxes provided by MATLAB and Simulink to train a reinforcement learning agent for AMR control. Thank you for your attention.